back to the vlog and today we are I popped up to Cabo as I've not really got anything else to do and someone has asked me about the electronic shutter on the R7 and the rolling shutter that I know can occur with it and I haven't actually experimented with it yet because whenever I'm shooting with it I am shooting for people who will like want to use it or like I want to put it up on socials so I haven't yet played around with it I always use the mechanical because when I was looking into the R range for Canon I was already aware of the rolling shutter aspect so I got advised to use the mechanical one so that's the plan today I'm just heading over to a spot that I don't usually shoot when out and about here so I'm gonna go give that a go because that should be quite a good one and yes so the plan is to shoot to trial the electronic shutter and to see what the rolling shutter looks like one thing I have literally just discovered is that I think all this time throughout the season I've been using the electronic first curtain shutter on this which, not gonna lie, is news to me. I was convinced I was using the manual, but not the manual, the mechanical, but looks like I was wrong in that regard. So in terms of electronic first curtain, it's pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'm also gonna give out the mechanical a go today because clearly I've not been doing that. And I wanna see if I can get a better keep delete rate on the mechanical. Um, the electronic shutter just itself, the standard one, like not the first curtain, so far, I'm not really having any problems with it. I'm finding it a little tricky to keep a good, uh, to keep a better keep delete ratio. But there's so far, there's like nothing too distorted. And I zoomed in to pan and also did a bit of a wide pan as well. I'm gonna head over to halls for the next couple sessions. I think after lunch, well after the lunch break that happens here, and then try it again there as you're a lot lot closer there and I think if you're gonna get rolling shutter it'll be there but like on the tight angles so I'm gonna head over there after lunch and give that a go I'm gonna try out mechanical here and try out a couple more close ones of panning and maybe kind of some like side on ones and we'll get back to you <laughs> because obviously I know what rolling shutter is, I know how bad it can be, but I had to google some photos just to kind of double check, I know what I'm looking for, and they show like the worst case scenarios of rolling shutter, and like the distortion it creates, and so far the photos I've been like playing around with, and like I've cranked the shutter right down to like one, one twenty fifth, and one one hundred and twenty fifth, and it's coping really really well like if it locks on properly like the frames per second are incredible and like the focus on the subject more often than not is like spot on and the only thing i think i'm noticing distortion wise is that in different frame in like different images of the like the pan and the burst certain images like definitely look a little different to the others but I wouldn't say it's too noticeable, like some of the ones I've seen, you've got like propellers that are massively out of whack, some of them don't look like they're in the right place for the blades, and these just aren't looking like that, so, so far it's going quite well, and I think I'll definitely try all this out on the content I shoot for, well, when I'm at BSB weekends, as this, like, it's not as high risk as track days, I think track days are still used to the first cutting, even though I have yet to try the mechanical, so I'm also gonna need that go. But so far I'm very impressed with the electron electronic shutter as I was told well I was under the impression that it very much distorted your images like quite badly. So far I'm very impressed. I'm just sitting here now enjoying the sun. Um and then I'm gonna go back, sort out a CV because I need to sort that, and then 
try out the mechanical and the electronic again around halls and that side of the track this afternoon. So instead of trying out the electronic shutter over at halls, I am going to do it on the left hander just before they go up into the mountain as that is also pretty close so it should give me the same effect. I also shoot halls so much so it is a lot nicer to do something a bit different when I don't have to shoot the classic spots. So that's where I'm heading. If I'm being completely honest I did plan to leave this vlog around the whole electronic shutter at the track day I tried it out on at Cadwell but I as I said in previous clips in this video I liked it so much that it was so efficient that I was going to try it at BSB as I really I just had a better like hit rate and frames per second um so I've done that and I've tried that in the first in the morning sessions today and I'll still keep using it across the weekend as I do enjoy it and it does make my life a little lot easier but um I'm just heading back for some lunch so I thought I'd do this little update bit now so the problems I have founding with it is first of all there is only one time I found through briefly going through my photos that there was significant like roll sh um, rolling shutter I'll add that photo in but that is kind of through a quick look the only time I've noticed is the bikes looks a bit fat and it doesn't look as you'd expect the bike to look normally so we've got that and then the other thing I've noticed is the camera keeps like sticking or kind of freezing so on a couple of shots I've taken the viewfinder will just stick on like that photo which is kind of weird and I've had to turn the camera off um, and on some and turn it back on again and on some occasions remove the battery and put that back in the other thing that keeps happening is sometimes it will just like go for a black screen and then you have to turn it off and on again and then we put the battery in but I think that just could be because I'm just using the electronic shirt so quickly I am not too sure I'm gonna try it again this afternoon but either way my photos are a lot sharper and I do enjoy using it those are just a couple of the niggles I found putting it to a bit of a better test than the odd photo here and there at the track day where I was playing around with it so in conclusion to the electronic shutter video which i am not too sure how good a job i did it did end up kind of going a bit crazy as i ended up trying again at uh thruxton for the bsb and i did find some warping problems with it i'll add in the photo here of where i really noticed it and the bike looks kind of like fat and stretched and it shouldn't and then I also noticed it uh, in this one where like pit lane the wall is kind of slanted which again shouldn't be the case but yeah it, it's one of those things where I really like it for kind of when you've got a high shutter speed and you're not really panning too much or you're not wanting to get that blur in the background as it was really quick, the frames per second are really really good. It I found it a bit easier locking on focus with it. Um, I don't know if that's just me. Um and the only times I did kind of notice any sort of distortion and was definitely in the previous photo where the bike looked a bit fatter as when I tried it at the Cadwell track day, it like I didn't really put it to its test too much and it coped very very well um but when I tried it on the Friday of Thruxton that was putting it to its paces a lot lot more and I stopped using it for the rest of the weekend when I panned on the pit straight for the afternoon of the Friday and the background just kind of slanted as for the rest of the weekend I knew I was going to play around with panning a lot more um so I decided just to keep it on the electronic first curtain but aside from that there was not as much I didn't get as much distortion as like I thought it would I thought it'd be a lot more noticeable than it was so all in all the rolling shutter isn't too bad on the electronic shutter on the R7 just kind of bear in mind that it's very dependent on kind of how, pan how much panning you're doing and 
kind of sharp movements if like you're not keeping up the subject that's the only time that's the only problems i found with it but i hope this has been helpful for anybody intrigued about the volo setter on the r7 and any questions with it in regards to motorsport and panning um i hope this helped and yeah i will if there are any other r7 related videos you guys would like feel free to either drop me a message on instagram or leave it in the comments on this video and i'll get around to doing it as i love playing around with it i don't do it nearly as enough as, nearly enough as i should but if there's anything you want me to try out just let me know and i will get that done but until then i will see you next time feel free to give it a like if you found this helpful and insightful on the r7 and feel free to feel free to subscribe as i'm trying to put more content out um I think that's probably going to be delayed, but I did do a mini vlog of MotoGP, so if you want to see that, let me know, and I'll get that edited and up. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.